Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Look at this, hold on. Oh, Feliz Navidad. Ooh, there we go. Feliz Navidad. You don't want me singing. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. It is that time of year again where we have to test our grit and we have to face these holiday parties that are just, it's party after party. We have Thanksgiving coming up. We have Christmas. We have Hanukkah. We have New Year's. All of these things that are literally haunting us. Speaking of haunting, Halloween just happened and we were haunted by all of these little candies all over the place. Um, and so this is usually the time of year when our goals start to go to crap, when all the progress we made over summer and fall really starts to kind of go downhill because it's too hard. There's too much good fruit cake. There's too much good German chocolate cake and snacks and holiday foods and different things like that. But I'm here to tell you those holiday parties will not kick you off track if you know how to attack them the right way. Okay, so I have seven tips for you today. These are my favorites. Tip number one, I love this one. Have you ever heard of glassing? Glassing, just walk around a party, mm. holding a glass of water or sparkling cider, sugar-free cider, or maybe it's Boo Shot, our Chris and Heidi are the transform Boo Shot. Maybe it's Diet Coke, something calorie free or low calorie, just keeping something in your hand the whole time. What that's going to do when you're at a party and you have a glass of water, specifically water in your hand, it's gonna keep us from grabbing all the food and putting it in our mouth because we have something else. A lot of times when we're grabbing foods at parties, it's just because it's human nature. It's like we need something to do with our hands so we start grabbing and eating those different foods. Anyway, Chris, Yes. Got our holiday shirts on. Glassing, it's one of my favorite tips. Something you should definitely try, walk around. Also, keep in mind, the more water you drink, the fuller you're going to fill. I love our 10 gulp rule. Every single time this glass hits your lips, which is gonna be hard to do at a party, you're gonna look like you're chugging water. But we always say, drink 10 gulps every time the glass hits your lips. You're gonna stay full. And, and you know, a little trick, the mechanism in our brain that makes us think we're hungry is actually telling us we're just thirsty and we just need to be hydrated, we're dehydrated. Tip number two, and this is one, we're gonna take it back to before you actually get there, before you get to the party. I want you to eat. I want you to eat a well-balanced meal. If you're inside of our app, pick one of our 500 amazing recipes. Make sure you eat something that has protein, I would suggest a healthy meal with proteins, carbs, and fats. It's going to keep you full the entire time. So protein's the most immediately satiating macronutrient. So you're gonna feel full fast when you eat protein. Fats are gonna keep us full longer. So by combining those, you're actually in a really great place. Tip number three, this is one of my favorites. Before you go, brush your teeth with mint toothpaste. Check that, oh, we use Sensodyne, yes. Mint toothpaste, brush those teeth, oh, hold on. Man, this is, ugh. oh my gosh. Brush your teeth with mint toothpaste. Oh my gosh, there's something in it. And chew mint gum at the party. So it's been proven that the mint flavor in our mouths keeps us from wanting to eat. Think about it. When you brush your teeth and then you go pick up food after and you start eating it, it doesn't taste the same. And it alters the way that our taste buds actually feel, taste the food, so it makes us not want to eat as much. So brush your teeth before, make sure you're chewing that mint gum. It is going to keep you from grabbing at food as you go throughout the party. Another one of my favorite tips, <clears throat> get your shaker bottle, get your favorite low carb meal replacement shake. I suggest drinking half of a scoop of your shake before and half after. Now, why not a full scoop? Well, if you're on a much higher calorie plan, do a full scoop, um, but I like to do a half before so that I know I'm getting uh, that all of the, those components of a low carb meal replacement shake that are going to keep me full longer, make sure I have the proper macronutrients in it. And then throughout the party, I know I'm gonna look forward to the other half afterward. It's just a nice little base before you go in to make sure you have the foods that you need. You're not super full or not super hungry when you walk in. Because think about it, when you go grocery shopping on an empty stomach, <clears throat> which I just did the other day, you come back the proud owner of aisles one through 10. Like everything <laughs> is inside of your cart. Well, that's what happens when you show up to a party without something in your stomach. Meal replacement shake is amazing. 
you're going to come out the proud owner in your belly of every amazing treat that was on that table and that's not what we want. Okay, tip number five. I think this is tip number five. Um, communicate with the party host. I think sometimes we feel guilty about not eating the foods at the party uh, because we know that the host, the hostess with the most has put so much time and effort into making those foods and we wanna make that host feel amazing about herself and about or himself, whoever it is. And you don't wanna insult them by not eating those foods and culturally, I think, it's kind of um, expected that our party guests are gonna eat the food that we prepare for them. But if they know, if your friend is a good friend, which I bet that they are, and if they know you're, you have goals and you have a plan that you're trying to stick to, they're going to understand if you say, hey, I can't do that. But instead, another tip, tip number six, bring your own fruit to the party. So offer to make a dish. Like I mentioned, there are over 500 recipes inside of our app. We have so many free eBooks. I have a ton of things on HeidiPal.net, a ton of great party recipes. I highly recommend you go there, HeidiPal.net, thetransformapp.com, transformhq.com. Get some of those recipes, make them in bulk for people. Most people, believe it or not, do not know how good eating healthy can be. It really is a game changer. When you find some good recipes, you're gonna wanna share them with the world. Tip number seven, enjoy yourself. Remember, these are the holidays. Holidays are not about depriving yourself um, so that you can lose weight. And I actually think by reframing the holidays as a whole and thinking, okay, this isn't the time of year I'm gonna set out to lose a ton of weight. This is a time of year I'm gonna set out to maintain the goals that I've already achieved. If you can shift that and if you can think about maintenance first, when New Year's comes, we can focus on losing the weight again or, or getting closer to the goals. But if we can just simply maintain, that is the most important thing. Guys, we only have so many holidays, right? And, and we only have, Christmas only comes once a year, Hanukkah only comes once a year. I do wanna make sure you're enjoying life because losing that weight means nothing if you can't also figure out how to balance it with a healthy lifestyle where you can enjoy and have fun and not feel deprived. When you're on a diet, the entire time you're at a party, all you're thinking about, besides, instead of the people that are there and the company and the enjoyment, you're thinking about the food you can't eat. <laughs> and I don't want that. So if anything, I want you to try for half portions. When you go to the party, after you've tried all these tips, when you fill your plate or as you're filling your plate, instead of taking a whole brownie, try taking a half of a brownie. Or instead of taking, you know, a, a whole plate of, what's amazing, Ruby, you don't have a shirt on, so you gotta stay down a little bit. Ruby, Ruby, oh my gosh. All right, she just got out of the bath or the shower. I had to pull her. <laughs> but instead of taking a, ha a whole plate of something, maybe try for just a half a plate. I'm a huge fan of all things in moderation and there is not a party I will go to, there's not a party I will go to where I don't eat at least some of the foods that I love there and you should too. But keep in mind, all things in moderation. Now, happy holidays. This is gonna be a great one. I hope this holiday survival guide helps you. Um, and if you need anything else from me, you know where to find me at Real Heidi Pal. Comment below, let me know what else you want to see, and I will be back soon. Should we should be the Feliz Navidad dance. Feliz Navidad. Actually, Feliz. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad.